Hey guys, what is up? It's Seth Krug back again with another video. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. We just hit 48 subscribers, I think, yesterday. So we're almost to 50, which is halfway to 100 if you guys know how to do math. And I'm pretty excited about it. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and let's get started. So today's video is going to be pros and cons of being in the Marine Corps. Last week we had a girl named Nolita with a couple A. She asked me to make this video in the comments, so I do read all the comments just because I only get like five of them for a video right now. If you guys ask me to make a video and it seems like a good idea, I'm happy to do it. So Nolita, shout out to you. So the first pro of being in the Marine Corps or the military in general is the guaranteed paycheck. It's really nice because you know exactly how much you're gonna make. That makes it really easy for whenever you're doing bills, buying a car, getting car insurance, anything like that, because you know exactly how much you're gonna have left over each month. There's definitely a huge pro of being in the Marine Corps. Now the first con that I have of being in the Marine Corps, I don't know what it's like in other branches, but whenever you're in the Marines, they basically have control of your life and all the other cons kind of fall under that so basically they have control of everything that you do they have control of whether you can go home they have control of where you're gonna be traveling to each month what time you're waking up they literally just it controls your life you know which for some people that's a good thing because some people need that so the next pro that I have on my list is that you're never by yourself you're never alone you always have somebody to talk to somebody to hang out with that is a huge pro because there are people at home that are alone and you know they get depressed and stuff because they're by themselves all the time. So that is one huge benefit that we have living in barracks with each other is never having to deal with that. So the next con is a really big one for me and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be able to relate to this and it's early mornings. Our reveille or time that we wake up is 5.30 in the morning and for me that just sucks because I can barely roll out of bed without knowing there's gonna be coffee at the other end of it, you know? Yeah, that's a huge con for me, but it's something that if you're joining the military, you're gonna have to get used to because every branch wakes up early. That's just how it is in the military and I'm sure you expect this. I mean, how could you not? the military we wake up early you know so a big or actually a huge part of being in the Marine Corps a pro is that we're very proud you always see guys whenever they get out of the Marine Corps or before they get into it you know they're wearing everything Marine Corps you know they got their Marine Corps hat on their Marine Corps shirt or their pulley shirt or whatever everything they can Marine Corps and you see guys that are getting out you know they're wearing their USMC boots their Marine Corps hat Marine Corps shirt Marine Corps tattoos and you know every branch you know has its pride in the Marine Corps that definitely holds a lot more value we definitely tend to think that we're better than everybody else so another big con of being in the Marine Corps is forced PTs in the morning this is a con just because a lot of guys like myself like to lift in the afternoon. It can be hard sometimes depending on the morning PT. A lot of guys would just rather, you know, maybe run to the gym, do their own workout, and then run back. That's not the case. Morning PTs usually consist of a run, circuit workout. It's a necessary evil because a lot of guys would not work out at all if we didn't have these morning PTs. A lot of people sign that contract because they want to travel. My one deployment that I've been on, I went on a Mew and I went to like six or seven different countries during that one deployment, which is awesome. So if you want to travel, Marine Corps is a great way to do it. For some people this con is going to be a little bit different but I have down being away from your family. Um, some people join the Marine Corps to get away from their family because they have shitty families that they don't want to be around but that's not the case for everybody. For me it can be hard being away from family sometimes but I've definitely gotten used to it over the past you know two and a half years. It's gotten a lot easier but at first like when you go to boot camp you know, that 13 weeks feels like forever because the longest time that you've been away from your family is a couple weeks at most, you know? That's definitely a downfall of being in the Marine Corps because you don't know where you're going to get stationed. You're going to get put wherever the Marine Corps needs you. So don't expect to be on the East Coast just because you came from the East Coast. And don't expect to see your family a lot for those four years. So my last pro for being in the Marine Corps is that you get the GI Bill whenever you get out. That's definitely a huge pro because you're getting four years of free college, which you can't really, you can't get that anywhere else. That's really nice if you wanna to go to college. And hey, if you don't, 
you've got that GI Bill for your kids or your wife in the future. So our last con is a huge one for guys who like to work out, which is trying to eat throughout the day. The only way to do it is to meal prep on Sundays and have food for throughout the week, depending on your barracks. Our barracks has six grills out back, so I can go out, cook up my chicken and everything for the week and then freeze it and then microwave it throughout the week whenever I need it. So, and that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment down below something you've learned from this video and even something else that you would like to learn about. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.